Hello, this is Randall Lloyd. Welcome to Episode 1 of Supersuit Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff about the ultra-cool Supersuit that maybe you didn't know. And we're going to start off today with one of my favorite uh, things to do with the Supersuit, and that is to use it as a deformation tool. And a lot of people may not have realized that you can do that. So, here we are. We have the Supersuit here in the window. <clears throat> and I'm going to... Um, First things first, maybe maybe let's color it a little bit so we can uh, don't have to look at those colors and get confused. All right. Now, the second thing we're going to do is hide it. So I'm going to hide it, and there we got a, a good-looking character in the window, good-looking Genesis character. Now I'm going to bring in a piece of clothing. I've already loaded it, so we don't have to wait on it. And and there you go. You see, we've got this tunic here in the window. That's a good, good looking piece of clothing. Now it doesn't have a whole lot of morphing options. If I come in here, I select it and I can go into in my parameters here and look at the morphs. It's got you know, a morph to move the front in and out and, and that's just about it. So what we can do though is you can take this um, suit and in your parameters you can fit it to your super suit the invisible super suit we have in the scene. I've I've fit it to that and I can hear the wheels turning in your head already. If I <clears throat> now come over to my shaping after I've selected the super suit, I come to my shaping palette and I have all kinds of options now. Let's start with the, the main one here, um, global thickness. Now a lot of you I know, especially when you're fitting Gen 4 or even Gen 3 clothing to Genesis, there's a lot of fitting problems you know, hovering clothing, things like that. And uh, with this, as you see instantly, I have a thickness control. This is basically an offset that you get because if you look at the super suit, if I'll turn it back on, you know, the super suit is getting thicker. And since the clothing is fit to the super suit, it's going to follow. Okay, so let's hide that super suit again. And so you can imagine all the controls you, you have with it. Okay, now. Um, one of the neat things you can do with uh, Daz Studio is that you can fit an item uh, to one figure and smooth it to another. So let's say let's say we loaded this outfit and it kind of looked like this. And I know you've seen clothes. Uh, this particular piece of clothing was well designed, and it's not like that. But certain pieces of clothing will have gaps and holes um, and hovering clothing. So you can fix that in this way. So if you select the select the piece of clothing and fit it to this fit it to the super suit and then you make your smoothing collision item Genesis. And there we go. So it's going to collision with Genesis, but yet it's still fit to the super suit. And what that's going to allow us to do is if I take my super suit control now and I make it thin, thinner, and you can see right to the point where it starts to sink under the skin of Genesis. And then I let it go and allow that smoothing to happen, that collision to happen. It's going to pop it back out. And I guess we need to turn up our um, collision a little bit. So let me uh, go back into the scene here, go to the tunic. Now let's make our collision iterations and our smoothing iterations a little higher. Maybe we'll make five on the five on each, and that should do it. I don't want too many because it's going to take too long. But there you go. Do so you see what happened right there? So let's go up one more. All right. So there you see what's happened. Um, we have used the super suit to, to make that piece of clothing offset just a little bit below the skin and made it very very tight and you can do that with a lot of clothing items alright so let me, let me get this back to where it was because we don't want to wait forever on that and we'll look at a couple of other things here so back to the super suit we'll turn that global thickness off now let's go into the arms here because the super suit's got a lot of different controls on it uh, in different sections of the body and we're going to look at what you can do with the arms here for just a second. So by using these controls I can now adjust 
the actual piece of clothing. It's going to follow just like the super suit does, and I can change many things about the suit now. As you see, I'm changing the sleeve length, and I've got the that smoothing is fighting against me right now, so I can I can change that back. Turn the smoothing off for a second, and there you go. Look, I've got a sh this. This was never intended to be a short-sleeved item, and you can sure you can go in with the uh, polygon group editor tool, or you can go in with um, just hiding different zones. But it's not quite the same thing because if I zoom in here, you'll see there's actually an edge on that, and you can't even see underneath it. So that's that's one of the strengths of the super suit. And now you can uh, make your different conforming clothing pieces uh, the same. So let's get back to the super suit and try a couple more fun things here. You know, I can go all the way down. I can I can I can bring that all the way in and now we got a sleeveless outfit there. Isn't that neat? You can go the other way with it too. So let me put these back to where they were. And let's make one of those kind of Renaissance outfits with the really cool puffy sleeves. You can bring this up like that. Maybe there we go. We got that cool puffy, puffy sleeve thing going on, and that's all done with the super suit. This remember, keep in mind, this piece of clothing doesn't have those morphs built in. We're we're only using the super suit to do it. So let's try. You know, these sleeves are very tight. I wonder if we could make them a little looser, and we can do that with some of these expansion morphs here. We can expand the right arm. As you see, the bicep is is expanding quite a bit there. And uh, maybe we can do, let's do the wrist on the right side. And as you see what happens there, we're flaring that wrist out a little bit. And you can do it with the forearm as well. And you get kind of interesting different sleeve options. And once again, all done with the super suit. Let's try, let's try one other last fun thing with this uh, while we can. And we're going to use the seams adjustment on the super suit and as you see I can I can adjust that and you get the same seam that you get on uh, on the super suit but if I go if I invert it you can get this uh, and we'll, we'll adjust the thickness you get this padded look it's almost like a parka now it's almost like a down filled uh, ski jacket or something you know a lot of a lot of cool things you can do there and I hope you can see the power of that let me hide this tunic and we'll try something else. Here's an interesting uh, dilemma that a lot of people come up with. And uh, let me just select my super suit and we will zero the shape of that down. Now I'm going to, um, this is the tankini that comes with Genesis. And I have it fit to Genesis right now. And then I'm going to bring in a um, vest. Okay. Now this is a common problem. You take two pieces of clothing that weren't designed to work together and you've got uh, them occupying the same space and you can you can do some things with that with smoothing and collision but there's an easy way to do it here with the super suit so we're just going to make sure that that vest is fit um, vest is fit to the super suit which it is and then I'm going to use our offset like we've learned this global thickness and by adjusting the global thickness up just a little you see we have moved that jacket that vest up on top of the shirt and this is very useful for you know if you want to layer a few things together um, whether it be a suit or uh, something like that you've got this nice offset control now and there you go that's that's another fun problem down the tube so Let's move on. Now, a lot of people ask me, let me bring the suit back here and let's uh, reset it. Zero figure shape. Oops, zero. Why isn't that working? There we go. All right. Now a lot of people ask me, they say, um, you know, why doesn't Genesis Super Suit have a brief built in? Like the, the standard superhero, uh, you know, underwear style brief. 
And the answer is because the mesh wouldn't allow it. And that might sound funny, but the supersuit is based directly on the Genesis mesh. And the Genesis just simply didn't have the geometry there to emulate that bikini style bottom. And, um, you know, uh, Daz did the best they could to make it um, as useful as possible, but that's just one thing that couldn't be done. But, you know, people should think a little bit and say, you know, I don't always have to use the super suit by itself. It's just a piece of clothing, right? And we use lots of different pieces of clothing together. So it, it, it makes a lot of sense that you can bring in a separate piece of clothing and then get some of that functionality that you're looking for. So I've actually loaded uh, a set of briefs here. And this set of briefs comes with Genesis in the base content. And there you go. You've got the brief look that you might be looking for for a classic superhero. And I have another super suit loaded here. Let me turn this one off and we'll turn on my second one here. And as you see I've got the right colors going on and I've decorated the suit in, in, in the right way. And we've got that classic superhero look going. And all you had to do is use just a, another piece of clothing on top of it and it's parented to the suit by the way. And let's bring in the super belt. The super belt is actually pretty awesome too. It, it can conform and, and transform in, in many of the same ways that the super suit itself can and I was able to make this great looking belt out of it just by changing some of the, the shaders on the surface and by changing some of the morphs so there you go you got a great belt and of course there's the super cape as well and as you see here we're getting a really nice really nice thing going on <clears throat> I'm gonna drag over the render that I made of this scene for you and uh, it's got another little extra I put on it as you see here there you go. And that's how you can use the super suit as a deformation tool and also how you can um, use different pieces of Genesis conforming clothing with the super suit to get cool effects. I hope you enjoyed that little tip and trick and I hope you turn in for many more. If you like this please hit the like and also hit subscribe and there'll be plenty more where this came from. So thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you next time. Take care.